So I'm here today uh, to fit the rack gate, which is is a good bit of kit, stainless steel, laser cut, very robust uh, piece of equipment. It's a one-way flap, and on it is this uh, maintenance wire, which you can screw to the side of the manhole to open the flap when uh, rodding or uh, cleaning the drain. Okay, so this is the drain. I uh, film everything, so uh, <laughs> yeah, just in case of any yeah. related issues. Oh, oh, thank you very much. So this is the... Um, this is the direction of flow uh, downstream, this way. We'll fit the okay, rat gate just there. And that'll stop rats coming into this drain and into the different uh, branches leading into the property and various drains around the property. To make sure you fit the Rack gate with the arrow facing downstream. Okay. Very easy to fit. I think it's going yeah. in. There it is. It's in. It was, uh, just, I think it was just, it's so, it's so tight. Yeah, I Does it matter that it's on a side angle? It's it? going to be straightened up now, yeah. I wouldn't leave you with, with a bent, <laughs> a bent uh, rack gate. Go through there like that, then we'll screw that up there. Yeah, I don't know why they, why didn't the council ever suggest this to you? Um, the council, yeah, it would be a, mm. it would be a good addition to uh, any pest control yeah. situation. So it comes with this coil of wire, which, you know, depending on the depth and size of the manhole, you can uncoil that and um, put it wherever you need it to be, out of the way. In this case, I've put a couple of zip ties on and I'll, uh, I'll leave it coiled up. There's a little loop there. which you put your screw into, then there's plastic easy to screw into. off or snag in any way you can pull that up to move the flap and hold it open while you rod it or jet it in the meantime the flap flap sits where it should do job done Here we are in a sunny place called Oxton and <clears throat> customers complaining that a couple of the gullies are filling up smelling but there's no manhole downstream all we've got is 
this gully and this gully nothing up there when we go round the corner past those bushes to the right there's the uh, soil vent pipe so I imagine the drains are quite deep here
guys if you like the video please click like subscribe if you haven't already It'd be great to have you on board part of tony's drain team leave a comment always re uh, reply to the comments it's great to hear from me let, let me know where you're from and uh, let's get off to the next job so we're back at the uh, unblock i was on in Clawton the other day and I drilled through uh, sorry I cut this with uh, the angle grinder now what we're going to do is fit one of these inside a boss so, drill this out looking good just clean this edge off weld around there so I can weld around this lip on the inside down there perfect this insert Shove a weld down the outside like that. Now the inside. Pop that in. This is the screw cap, so you'll be able to get the jetter into that. Same again inside. Outside. Got a screw and nut to clamp that into place. Oh, happy days. Lovely job. So, I cut the hole on an angle here because if you stick them, up, okay, you could stick it pointing out here, but it gets in the way of people walking past, so that's why I kind of usually go from the side. This is um, this is your access now. You have to get a jetter in there and uh, 
at least you've got some access now into the into the drain pipe. There are uh, these little rubber bungs that you can buy uh, and put them in uh, with a screw each to their own. I, I, I've started using these because one it looks better and uh, two I think um, the long term durability and everything is, is much better. Job to Gordon. Remember, if you like the video, only takes a second, click the like. If you haven't subscribed, give us a subscribe, become part of Tony's dream team. Love to have you on board. And uh, have a good day. See you on the next one.